All right, so on the back of the 1.5 notes, um, getting to the images, what is okay to assume and not assume based on the pictures? Remember, they're not necessarily drawn to scale, but it is okay to like if you see a straight, if something's labeled as congruent, you know that 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 is true. And if you see like straight lines are straight, um, that that that's uh, one thing that we do assume that if it's drawn as a straight line, it is a straight line. So based on this, we can assume that uh, vertical angles are congruent. Are, I'm just going to do the symbol to, to shorthand that. But vertical angles are congruent, so like this angle is congruent to that angle. So angle PWV is congruent to TW angle TWQ, uh, for instance. And we could have done this one as well, where we do uh, TV. Uh, I can't even tell anymore. TWP is congruent to Q. Uh, WV. So we can say that. What can't we say from this? Well, um, it kind of looks like it's a 90 degree angle, but we can't assume that unless it's labeled with that little square symbol. So um, we can't assume that, for instance, angle TWQ uh, is equal to 90 degrees. We can't assume that it's a right angle. So we would not do that. And then the other thing we can't assume, um, we know that TW segment TW, uh, you know, it's not really assumed, but TW is congruent to WV because it, and so this, this TV segment has been bisected by that segment. Even though these two lengths look the same, we can't say it because we don't have any information. So we cannot say that PW segment PW is congruent to segment WQ. All right, we cannot say that as well. So uh, a couple bits of information. There might be a few other things in there, but those are the main ideas to get from that. All right, uh, another term to add to the to the mix is a linear pair, a pair of adjacent angles whose non-common sides are a straight angle. So I actually kind of drew this on the other page, but this is coming back. So if we draw an, a straight line, a straight angle, and then we have a uh, adjacent angles. So angle one and angle two here. Angle one and angle two. Uh, and I shouldn't use the plus sign. I should use an and. I got lazy on the other side, but I'll try and keep it up here because plus could potentially mean different things, for, especially if we talk about measures. Um, but yeah, those two angles are a linear pair. They, they, um, they have the, their non-shared side for those adjacent angles is effectively a straight line, a straight angle. So then a linear pair, if two angles form a linear pair, then they are supplementary. And this is where we saw this drawn before, which means they add to be 180 degrees. So uh, if I draw this same thing again, angle one, angle two, since we're asked for a you know, picture, um, then we know that angle one uh, and angle two are supplementary. So I kind of squeeze that in there. So that's the same thing as saying the measure of angle one plus the measure of angle two is 180 degrees. We know those two angles have to add up to 180. All right, so looking at some of these, they ask us to find the measure of all the angles. Um, so uh, what we have here is um, we've got this 60, we have, this is a right angle, and then this is a straight angle, straight here. So if there's a right angle there, this is also a right angle because there, you know, this would be supplementary. So um, I'm gonna put this little square there because um, this is kind of where we're gonna start from with this. We know that this uh, is 90 degrees, angle EOC is 90 degrees. So if this is 60, and these, and these two angles would be then complementary. These uh, adjacent angles add up to 90 degrees. We can figure out that this is 30 degrees. We already know that one's 90. I'll jot that down. But now that I have this 30 degree angle, I can pop over here because this is vertical. This angle here, DOC, is vertical with AOB. So those are congruent. So this up here is also 30 degrees. 
And there's a few ways at this point we could actually figure out angle O. Uh, or, sorry, that's not angle O. BOC. O is the point in the middle. Um, BOC, we could know that uh, it's supplementary with this. This is a straight line, a straight, uh, a linear pair. Um, you know, so these have to be supplementary. So this is 30, this adds to 20, this has to be 150 degrees. We could do it that way. We could know that, actually, we haven't done this yet, but the entire circle adds up to 360 degrees. So all of these angles have to add up to 360. So we could have subtracted that way. We also could have said that one fifth, this angle here is vertical with these two combined 90 plus 60. And so that, that would be... Um, the same as 90 plus 60. Alright, so there's that one. Here, uh, we need to do some solving. Don't assume that these are like this angle has been bisected and these are equal here. What we have, the information we have from this one is that this is a right angle and these two angles are then complementary. So we know that those two angles should add up to, so if I write this out, 6x plus 3 plus, and so that measure, plus 3x plus 6, sorry, is 90 degrees. So we can solve these parentheses aren't doing anything that aren't affecting order of operations. The plus doesn't matter, the order it happens in. So we can combine some like terms 3x and 6x and, and 3x is 9x. 3 and 6 is 9 is 90. So we subtract 9x is 81. And so uh, x is 9 if we divide by that. So we subtracted 9, divided by 9 to get that. All right, x is 9, but that didn't actually give us our angle measures. They, they want us to find the measure of all angles. So we can plug that back in, plug in it, plug it in there. 9 times 6 plus 3, so that is 54, plus 3 would be 57 degrees. At this point, I don't have to plug this back in. I could plug it in here, but I know that these were complementary. If this is 57, this has to be whatever adds up to 90. Let's check it the other way. We'll, 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 we'll go that, come to that in reverse, so we'll check this as well. Uh, plug in 9 here. This helps kind of check our algebra too, if we uh, to make sure that this worked out. So 9 times 3 is 27 plus 6 gets us to 33. Okay, yeah, 33 degrees plus 57 degrees for those two angles. That does add up to 90. Then I've got a vertical angle here, 33 as well. If that's 33, this is 33. And then I could go a couple of different ways here. I could go this way by supplementary. This angle plus 33 have to add up to 180. So that would be 147 plus 33, and so that's degrees and degrees. And then um, this last one, we could have done a couple of ways. Um, we can, um, all of these have to add up to 360 is one way we could do that. Another way we could do is that we kind of know that if we look here, these three angles form a state line together. It's not really an angle pair, it's a trio of angles, but those should also add up to 180. So if I do 180 minus these two together, Turns out those two actually add up to be 90 degrees. Um, oh, I'm overthinking this. Sorry. Uh, and so it ends up being 90 degrees. I forgot about that right angle there. We already knew that was a right angle. So we can just say that this is a right angle as well. That's 90 degrees. My bad. But uh, other ways we could have, yeah, added up to 360. A whole bunch of ways we could get to that last one. All right. Uh, here we have a linear pair. Those need to add up to 180. So x minus 33 plus 142 is 180. Uh, we could also have done this first. We could have realized, oh, well, this over here, if this is 142, this has to be supplementary with that, so that's got to be 38, right? So we know this is a 38-degree angle. Um, and, and actually, if you're finding the angles, th these last two, I, I think they, they wanted us to find x. They, they, this probably should have been labeled differently because we actually already know that this is 38 degrees. And this is 142 since there are a couple of vertical angles. We technically have found all the angles. They want us to find x as well. But we could have set x minus 3 equal to, if we subtract that 142, x minus 33 equals 38. And so x is add 33, and we get uh, x is 71. 71 degrees, and then we subtract the 33 degrees. 
Um, I guess since they have the degree symbol on the outside, it would just be actually 71. They've, they've applied the degree on the outside. Um, so x is 71. Um, that's setting that one up. And then this one as well. We could figure out this angle very easily. We know that all three of these angles have to add up to 360. So 245 plus 32 is 257. And we need to get all the way up to 360 degrees. So we need to add another 103. So this angle here is 103 degrees. Um, so we could do that. We could also set up some bigger equation. Let's see, did I screw that up? Uh, look at my notes. I think we're all right. Uh, hopefully. So uh, one of, that's equal to 103. We could set up an x minus 39 is equal to 103 degrees. Add the 39, and we get that x is, and that's since that degree symbol is really on the outside the way that they've labeled this, we wouldn't have to write the degree symbol on x. x is just add 39 to both sides. You can kind of cancel off the degree symbol. Um, and so we would get x is 142, 142 degrees. All right, let me, all right, sorry. I think I found it. Uh, looking at my notes, saw something was up. Here's my mistake. So 245 plus 32 degrees is not 257. That would be 277. Off by 20. So when we subtract that from 360, this is going down 20. And so this is going to actually be 83 degrees. This is going down 20. So this is actually going to be 83 degrees. And this is going down 20. That's going to be 122 degrees. Sorry about that. Um, so you could have set it up this way. You also could have set up x minus 39 plus 245 plus 32 equals 360. You kind of could have done this kind of all at once um, and solve it. And you get the exact same thing. And once you subtract those couple away, you get to that x minus 39 equals 83. So that is that.